Hello, hello, how are you guys? Oh, I'm excited to do this. I haven't done a live video in a little while. I feel a little awkward. Um, I haven't, I didn't really plan too much on what to say, so just bear with me. My name is Haley Christian. I've been a coach for a little over three years. <laughs> um, I really wanted to talk about how important it is to keep going. Um, I can't imagine. You guys can say hi. I can't imagine if I quit. Oh my God, regret for life. Um, so I've been a coach for three, almost three and a half years now. Crazy, right? Oh my God. Um, so when I first started, I got a diamond pretty quickly. Um, I was part of like a diamond push group with my coach and I wanted to win and whatever I put my mind to, I will achieve. Um, so I did, I got it within, I think so 60 days. I got it like on day 60 or something like that. Nowadays I can get it faster, but then that was really fast to me. Um, so I got diamond, it was awesome. And then I stayed diamond for two and a half years. <laughs> um, oh girl, you're stalking my Insta stories. I still have to do my story for today. Like my talking, I'm excited. Um, so. I stayed diamond for two and a half years and you know watching people that I was following make so much more money than me um, every Thursday rank advancing and stuff like that I felt so dumb I remember like being at summit and my hair come on let's just figure it out here <laughs> I remember being at summit and I was like a diamond and then I went back a diamond again and I said you know what I said last year I wanted to be a five star and I'm still the same. I got embarrassed and I wasn't just embarrassed like myself. I was embarrassed for my team. I was embarrassed that I lied to my husband um, saying I was going to work harder and I just didn't. And the sad part about this is I thought I was working hard. Um, I really did. I did consider myself like a full time worker, like a runner coach and I was not. Um, I was a hairdresser and bartender when I first started this for a really long time and um, I always had a plan B so you know when I didn't make enough money with coaching I had money coming in regardless so I was I never got uncomfortable uh, okay. <laughs> sorry I was about to sing a song um, I never got uncomfortable because I didn't have to because I always had that money and I kept being like, well, why am I not, you know, rank advancing? Why am I not doing better? It's because I never got uncomfortable. I always had a plan B. And I'm not saying maybe you should quit your job, but I don't know. <laughs> um, the way, like the day I got, I changed my whole mind with this business was the day I was at Desperate AF. So I moved um, from Boston to Wilmington, North Carolina. I didn't know where. Like my husband was like, he was supposed to get the hook up with the job. And um, I'm a beach body coach, I can work from wherever. So, um, but I still had the bartending job. Shit, sorry, I just got a disgusting text. Um, I still had the bartending job and I always like lied to Facebook and you know, pretended to be like a full-time coach. Don't do that, live your life and share your dreams. Like what's gonna happen? I always pretended like I was full-time, but I really wasn't. So when I moved here, I um, I had to either go back to bartending, which I did for 10 years, guys. Every single week, you know, work till three o'clock in the morning and not, not that, like, I'm not even gonna talk to you about how I worked 19 hours when I first started. I worked nine to five doing hair, five to three o'clock in the morning behind the bar. So I was able to quit the, the hairdressing job within like, I think eight months, cause I was making some money as a diamond coach, nothing to like live off of but enough to quit that job, huge deal. It was a huge deal for me. But anyways, I kept the bartending job because that's where you make a lot of money. Um, so when I moved here, I was like, okay, I could go back to bartending, which I hated, I hated. It was cool when I was 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. You know, when I was getting older, I'm like, I can't do this forever. Um, anyway, I, I went back to, I applied. And instead of getting uncomfortable and making this a business, I applied at all the jobs. I got them all because I worked at the same bar for 10 years. I worked, I trained for one day and I, um, 
I just started crying the second I got back in my car because they put me on a schedule for Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I didn't want to work those days. Like, don't tell me when I have to work anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. So that's, I just was just crying. I told my husband, I can't go back. I can't go back there. And um, I was like, I kept being like, don't worry. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. And he said, I know you will. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. And right then and there, I was like, no, we won't anything. I signed up for this business, not you. I will figure this out. And um, uh, let me plug you in. Look out. My dog's right next to me, creeping. Um, so my husband, the reason why I was so desperate um, and crying because my husband was supposed to get this awesome job and he never did. It fell through and it was just my beach body money. And I was not making a lot of money as a diamond coach at all. Like, not at all. So, I sat down. I'm like, what the f*** are all these people doing? Making this money that I'm not doing. <laughs> and of course, you know, personal development came to my head. I'm not going to talk about that. You guys already know. Do it every day or you're going to quit. So, I did personal development every day. And it really helped. I do have this quote up here. Are your actions... Um, do, you, do your actions match your mouth? And I had that. I always, I always um, read that every day because I'm like, oh, I want to be a five star. Oh, really? Do your actions match your mouth? Are you scrolling or are you working? You know, are you going for a walk for no reason, doing the dishes for no reason, or are you working? Um, so that really helped. And I'm sure you guys, I'm not sure, but um, I do have this quote that I go by. I have it in front of me at all times as I'm a scared little baby introvert, shy little girl. And I says hashtag don't be a bitch hit send so I just started being brave and doing the things I wanted to do instead of talking about it so I realized that people aren't gonna come to me like they're just not um, so I showed up every single day I looked at my Instagram I looked at my Facebook and I was like ew I'm bored it's boring if I was a follower I wouldn't follow me you know it's the same shit so I, I asked around for some Instagram help. I got some. I was creeping a couple people. I'm like, cool, that looks awesome. And made it my own. Um, so if you're bored with yourself, all of your followers are bored. So do something different. Change it up. You don't have to make your hair pink. <laughs> but, you know, if... Um, you know, if you never wear necklaces, get a cool necklace. If you never wear lipstick, put some lipstick on. If you never wear makeup, put some on. If you always wear makeup, take it off. If you always wear your hair down, put it up. Um, get some scroll-stopping um, graphic tees. Go outside. You know, take better pictures. Get a better phone. Like, whatever it is, be better. Like, be better. Um, so I try to make my pictures better. Um, for attraction marketing because it is attraction marketing business, right? So I did that and obviously if you do that over time you will get more likes <laughs> Which equals more conversations because you get to thank those people that like your stuff, right? So what I was doing before when I was just sometimes thanking people once in a great while I let it be just a thank you and I let it go And as soon as I was like, you know what if I let this person go somebody else is going to invite them and um I'll be pissed. You know, I'm not going to help them. I'm not going to get paid for it. Forget about it. What's the point? Um, so now I don't let anybody go. No matter what conversation it is, I say at the end, I'm like, okay, hey, awesome. So awesome talking to you. And then I stop for one second. And then I say, you know what? I call out the awkwardness. I'm not trying to be weird or gross or anything, but like, I just loved talking to you. You're so funny. And um, I just started this group again. Oh my God, I feel gross just saying this, but I feel like you'd be so perfect in there and you'd get along with the girls like, cause you're just like me and they're just like me too. And it's so awesome being surrounded with people that actually lift you up instead of like make fun of you for doing the healthy things and the good things in life. Um, do you want more information on it? You know, or if it's say for some reason, like they like the business post, I would be like, Hey, um, I'm not trying to be gross or anything. I swear to God, but I don't know why I, I want to just keep talking to you. You know, you're just so funny. And um, before I started this, my like before I started coaching, um, like working on Instagram, like I'm doing right now and just like talking to you and just like showing up every day, I was working 19 hours um, and you know, however my life was. And now I'm doing this and I just, 
I don't know, I feel like you'd be so perfect. Can I just add you to a sneak peek really quick to maybe see if it's something for you? If not, totally cool. Um, but I'm just so glad we talked and I have a new friend now, you know? And that's that, guys. I just started getting uncomfortable. I just hit send no matter what. I just did the things I've always wanted to do but I was just too scared to do. I was always too scared to do one-on-one -on -one FaceTime calls with my team. I, I do them every day. I friggin' that's my favorite part of the day now. Um, so I took time on the people that work in the business. I do, you know, the FaceTimes. Like before, I would ditch. I'd be like, I don't feel good. I can't. I lie. I broke my toe. I did break my toe the other day. <laughs> um, what else? Just remember, guys, really quick. If you do not invite that person, if you let a conversation go from now on, literally picture my pink head going out and inviting them the second you don't because I will. <laughs> um, but I just, I just started to do the friggin' things. I was desperate. And let me say something about being desperate. Um, Monty, cut it out. Monty, cut it out. Sorry, my dogs. Um, know what pisses me off about people like hitting success club and trying to hit ranks and stuff like that? They only, like for the most part, and this used to be me too. Monty, please. I don't have it up. Um, they, they try their hardest when the, dead, when the day of the deadline, the day before the deadline. And then they get it, right? So if you, okay, this pisses me off so hard. Like if you're going for a diamond and you have to like go in for like a you know diamond push and you need it because you get the money and you're going to get it no matter what. That's how I was. That's how I got diamond. Um, why the don't we work like that every day? Imagine if we worked like that every day. Your, your business would be giant. So I changed the way I work now. Think of this when you're desperate. So say if you needed to be diamond by the end of November or by December 15th, or you would get kicked out of your house. Tell me, you know for a fact you would make it happen. Without a doubt. I always do crazy things in my brain if I don't, if I don't help five people today. My dogs are running away. Done. I know for a fact I would help those five people. I would do whatever it takes to help those five people and I would make it happen. Start acting like that. Everyone thinks, you know, life doesn't have a deadline. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and if you do it faster, you get more successful faster. Um, so what else? Like I said, I, I did the uncomfortable stuff. I act like every day is a deadline. Um, I, creeped, I creeped my own self and changed it up because I was bored. I do and say whatever I want to say to that person, no matter what, because guess what? They're either going to love me or not. And if they love me, oh my God, they're going to love me. And if they're not, that's fine. Forget about them. Um, I invite no matter what. I don't let anybody go because if I do, somebody else will get them and that will never happen. <laughs> and I do one-on-one -on -one FaceTimes all the time with my team. I do team calls and all that. So the little, I have two more things to say. So um, the most important part about all of this, I think, is to have fun. If you're not having fun, why are you doing this? Yeah, it's a business. It does get uh, tough, I guess. People say no to you. But I just have fun. When people say no to me, I will either like send them a voice message being like, girl, I don't take no for an answer. You're crazy. What are you doing? You know? Um, and just be my funny self. If they don't like it, I don't care. They might block me. Or I'll say, okay, with a friggin' girl doing a cartwheel. Talk to you later. Bye. I will never count on one, two, five, seven, ten, anyone ever. <laughs> ever. The reason why I continue to stay you know, eight, nine star is because I'm always recruiting more and duplicating more. I've had people drop, but it doesn't affect me because I create more diamonds. Um, so yes, I did go, and from one month, I went from diamond all the way to eight star, nine star qualifying in one month. And it's doable if you do the shit, but not just when you feel like it every single day, no matter what. Otherwise, don't even do it at all. Um, 
So the have fun part, um, the have fun part is I, for a long time, did not know who I was. I'm like, who am I? I know I'm wicked shy. You know, I'm pretty gangster. Like, I like, I don't know. I'm not very professional. I don't know how to use big words. Um, whatever, I'm awkward. So stop following these people that aren't you. So honestly, I had to stop following all these people I was looking up to for a while. Because I, I was trying to post like them and be like them. And I'm like, that is not me. So I stopped following them and I said, F everyone. This is my business. And I'm going to run it the way I want it. I see that Carl Deichler likes my stuff. I don't care. I will still say what I want to say. Even if it doesn't make any sense to him. Because I'm not trying to attract Carl Deichlers. I mean, I do love him. Too much, really. <laughs> so, um... I don't know. I had to unfollow and just for some reason when people decide to be a beach body coach, it is so weird. I have like, you know, challengers that are crushing life and then they all of a sudden they turn into a coach and then they start posting like a weird beach body coach. I'm like, that's not you. You are not the same person that's in the challenge crushing life. Stop. Being a beach body coach, a coach to me, nothing against beach body. I love it so much. It's changed my life. Is gross to me. Like, I would delete Beachbody coaches. Don't be a Beachbody coach. Be yourself. Okay? Talk. Type the way you talk. Otherwise, it's never going to work out. People don't want to be sold. They want to hear you and your weirdness and all your weird stories and how you got to where you are and or where you're going. Um, celebrate the little wins. When I first made my, you know, $200 a week, I was like, okay, cool. This is like turning into a real job, so cool. And then not too long ago, guys, it was so weird, not too long ago when I was just a, I went from, I was a one star, I wasn't making that, I wasn't making that much money and actually I was wicked happy, I was making $500-ish a week and I was like, oh my God, this is a real job. This is a real job. And um, I was maybe making like three to five. But as soon as I got to two star, it started being like 500 always. And I'm like, shit, you know what? This is a full-time job. People are working for my husband right now. Um, freezing, whatever, or wicked hot out. They're working way harder than I am, sweating their life away, digging holes for a little bit less than $500 a week. They make not that much money in the cell. Um, so I was like so happy about that. Be happy with where you're at. Um, and then I, you know, I got to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And guys, um, in a short amount of time, I went from making like three to five hundred dollars a week um, to making over, no matter what, over two thousand dollars a week. Um, oh, sometimes it's like more than that, um, but it's never, never less. So that is a six-figure earner, and that's what I wanted forever. I was just a shy girl who hardly graduated high school, didn't go to college. Um, you know, super not professional, just little, always kept to myself, girl, but I wanted to always make a name for myself because I grew up with no money, none at all. You know, my mom had to go to Salvation Army to get us food. So I had three sisters, so it was really hard. My mom is single. Um, so I always wanted to make a name for myself and not struggle like that. And I, I can now. I can like literally start crying in one second, but like my life flipped just because I kept going. Um, I had a dream car on my vision board. It was a BMW drop top. Got it. It's right over there. My husband had a Harley Davidson on the vision board. Got it right after. No problem. I wanted to get my, my varicose veins done. Cost $8,000. I'm doing it right now. And I'm just paying cash money. And it's fine. The most important part about this is I just didn't want to worry about money and I want I moved so I don't live near my family anymore. All I wanted to do was to be able to go home and see my mom, my sisters, my nephew without crying and taking one week to buy a plane ticket. Last year at this time, guys, I couldn't. I felt trapped. Now I can. I literally go home almost once a month. Um, and I pay for all everyone's dinners. My, whenever I go, I see my team, I pay for their dinners. 
you know, I hook them up because I can and I have never, I don't have to worry about money anymore. But imagine if I just stopped. Do you know how many people quit on me? I had diamonds quit on me. Plenty of diamonds quit on me. I feel bad for them. I do. And I'm like, oh my God, that really is so sad to me. That sucks that you're going to have to work for somebody else for the rest of your life. And then you're going to see me in a couple of years crushing life and you're going to regret it. I actually feel bad for you. Like, I don't know. Like, do you want to work for somebody else forever? Or do you want to work for like commission for the rest of your life? I doubt it. Do you want to be on a schedule for the rest of your life? I doubt it. If you just crush this for a couple of years, but actually crush it, not just say you are. You will have a crazy ass dream life that you'll never like now I got to keep dreaming bigger and bigger and bigger. It's weird. <sighs> so, um, I don't know. All I know is I've never heard of a job where you can, you have to be and look like your best. I'm not saying look, but like if you do the workouts, like you should from start to finish over and over again, you will look and feel your best, um, and help other people do the same and get to do it in your own voice having nobody right there telling you not to do that you know i think that's the cool i think it's the coolest job ever and just have fun with it especially on instagram story it's the funnest you guys are crazy if you don't use instagram story that's where i help 99.9% .9 of my people now and i hit really high success club numbers guess what though last year at this time no one on instagram i had a Creep myself and change things. Okay. Um, dream big and gonna come to a yes. I hope that helped. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but um, I just wanted to share my story and just let you guys know that I was right there with you. Um, I'm not special. I'm not like, oh my God, you have pink hair now. That's why you're so successful. No. When I have blonde hair, that's when I went from the one to... Um, Nine. So, guys, I'm just saying this whole pink hair thing, because if I was you, I'd be like, bitch is only lucky because she has pink hair. I swear to God, I would think that. It's not true at all. I show up every day behind the scenes like a boss. All right, guys. I hope that helped. I um, hope you have an awesome rest of the Monday, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.